In this video, we're going to discuss variables. We're going to discuss what they are, why we use them, and certain conventions or certain things or rules that we need to follow. To begin with, and the long and the short of it is that variables store data. And I'll give you an example. If you're going to create a game, you need to store the user's username. You might need to store their password to get onto the account. It might be that you want to store their points, their high score, how many lives they've lost, and all sorts of different variables. Okay. In this example, we're going to start off by storing some score. So we're going to try and store 10 as a variable. Okay. So since it's a score that I'm going to store, I'm going to call this variable a score. Okay. And to store something, you type in equals and then the value or the number that you want to put inside. So we decided that the score was going to be 10. So score equals 10. And what's happened is this value 10 has actually been stored into the variable that we called score, kind of like a box, putting something inside a container. And that's what a variable is. Now. Sometimes you need to store some text. Now there's another word that programmers use for text, which we'll discuss in a different tutorial. But for now, we'll re refer to it as text. If I wanted to store somebody's name, what better variable name than the word name? So I'm going to call it name equals. Now because this is text and it's a little bit different to a number, what you've got to do is open your speech marks and close your speech marks and then put in the name that you wish to store. So I'm going to pick Jack. So what's happened is the variable name has got this name Jack stored inside it. Now to check if this has actually worked or if this data has been stored correctly, I'm going to print this out. So I'm going to use the print function. going to open and close my brackets, which is this one. And then I'm going to place the variable that I wish to print out. So we'll print out the score. And when I play this, I'd expect to see the score, which you've probably guessed is 10. Okay, if I was to change that, so if you can, if you have a look here on the console, you can see that 10 has been outputted. If I was to change the score to name, it should print off Jack. So the console output was Jack. So we know that that piece of data has been stored. Now there's a couple of things that are very, very important. Certain rules that we must follow. First of all, variables are case sensitive. So if I was to change this, the name from a lowercase to an uppercase, a capital N, and over here, I'm referencing it with a lowercase. Okay, you can see it's already giving me some red squiggly lines underneath. If I was to play this now, it would not work. It's giving me an error. And it's saying that name is not defined because they are very different because lowercase name has not been defined, it does not exist. So it's very important that we follow the right case. Now, I like to keep all of my variables lowercase. That stops this kind of an error. But sometimes what happens is you want a variable which has two words inside them. So you want two words together. So what you must do is, if I wanted to store the first name as a variable, it sometimes becomes a little bit difficult to see. So what I like to do is I like to put the second word, and if I had a third word or a fourth word, the first letter of that new word, or the second word, as a capital letter. This makes it easier to see, okay? But you must remember that whatever you call your variable, you must reference it correctly. Okay? Variables also have to be one word. They cannot be two words. So that is incorrect. It has to be one word together. 
So this makes it easier to see as well. And this is called a camel case convention or just camel case. And you probably guessed it. It's camel case because it looks like there's a hump in the middle. Okay, so if I press play, it will print off Jack. What I would like you to do is think of 10 variable names. It could be anything you want. Try and pick some text. Don't forget text has got speech marks. It could be some numbers. Make sure the names are appropriate. So just like I have stored score as 10 and name or first name as Jack, make sure that the variable names are sensible and appropriate and relevant. Okay. And I would like you to print off your variables to see that they are working. I would like you to screenshot your work and submit it to Showbee, please. Thank you.